is encircle the animals that are vertebrates and mark X if it is invertebrate. that you will surely enjoy. But before we start our new lesson, let's have first a review on our previous lesson. Can you see these pictures? I want you to identify these animals into fish, birds, amphibian, reptile, or mammals. In what classification does the frog belong? Very good! The frog belongs to the classification of amphibians. And how about the crocodile? Very good! The crocodile belongs to the classification of reptiles. And how about the shark? Very good! The shark belongs to the classification of fish. And how about the duck? How about the duck? Very good! The duck belongs to the classification of birds. And how about the horse? In what classification does the horse belong? Very good! The horse belongs to the classification of mammals. Class, did you still remember our lesson yesterday? What was our lesson yesterday? Yes, correct. It's the five classification of animals. What are the five classification of animals? Very good. The five classification of animals are amphibians, mammals, reptiles, birds, and fish. Children, can you guess what's in the picture? Very good, it's a zoo. Have you been in zoo? Wow, it's nice to hear that. What did you see in the zoo? Yes, animals. How about this picture? How about this zoo? What animals did you see inside this zoo? Yes, there is a monkey, elephant, a lion, tiger, squirrel, hippopotamus, and giraffe. Do you want to see and learn more animals? Okay, let's watch a short video and I want everybody to watch and listen carefully. Okay, children, what is the title of the video that we watched? Very good. So, our topic for today is classifying vertebrates and invertebrates animals. And what are the animals shown in the video? Yes, there is a mouse, snail, dog, a 
alligator, turtle, crocodile, there is a snake, a lizard, a fish, birds, cow, there is also a carabao, a giraffe, shark, there is a dolphin, an eagle, ostrich, a horse, frog, spider, insects, worms, crab, starfish, and human. Now, who can tell me the difference of those animals? Very good! Some of the animals have backbone and some of them don't have backbone. Based on the video that we watched, who can tell me what is vertebrates? Very good! Vertebrates are the animals with a backbone. And how about the invertebrates? Very good! Invertebrates are the animals without backbone. So, the animals that have backbone are called vertebrates. And the animals without backbone are called invertebrates. They can be found in where? In our neighborhood, in the rivers, oceans, in the forest, mountains, desert, and we can also see them in the zoo. Now that you already know what is vertebrates and invertebrates, let's have an activity. Did you still remember the animal shown in the video a while ago? I will choose or pick 10 of them and we're going to classify them into vertebrates and invertebrates. Okay. First, we have the alligator. In what group does the alligator belong? Does it belong to vertebrates or invertebrates? Very good! The alligator belongs to vertebrates because the alligator have backbone. Very good! How about starfish? Belongs to Yes, the starfish belongs to invertebrates because the starfish doesn't have a backbone. Okay, next, spider. Spider belongs to? Very good, belongs to invertebrates because the spider don't have backbone. How about human? How about human? We belong to? Very good. We belong to the group of vertebrates because we have backbone. Okay, very good. Next, how about the worms? How about the worms? Worms belongs to? Very good. The worms belong to invertebrates because they don't have backbones. How about the mouse? Belongs to? Very good. Belongs to vertebrates. How about the turtle? Belongs to? Very good. The turtle belongs to vertebrates. How about the snail? Belongs to? Very good. The snail belongs to invertebrates. And how about the fish? The fish belongs to? Yes, correct. The fish belongs to vertebrates because it has backbone. How about the crab? The crab belongs to? Correct. The crab belongs to invertebrates. Very good, children. Now that you already know how to classify the animals into vertebrates and invertebrates, 
Let's have your activity number two. In your book, you can find your activity number two. And the direction is, encircle the animals that are vertebrates and mark X if it is in vertebrates. I will give you five minutes to answer it. And time starts now. Okay, time is up. Stop writing and let's answer your activity number two. Let's start first with the frog. What is your answer for the frog? Did you encircle the frog or did you mark an X? Encircle Y. Very good because the frog has a backbone and it is, yes, correct, it is vertebrates. And how about the caterpillar? What is your answer for the caterpillar? Yes, it is X because the caterpillar doesn't have backbone and it is, yes, very good, it is invertebrates. How about the octopus? What is your answer for the octopus? Yes, it is also X or cross because the octopus Yes, the octopus doesn't have a backbone and it is Very good, it is invertebrates And how about the chicken? What is the answer for the chicken? Yes, encircle the chicken because the chicken has a backbone and it is Yes, it is vertebrates. And how about the bee? Yes, the bee is X because it is invertebrates. Okay, very good children. Okay, children. How do you classify animals into vertebrates and invertebrates? Yes, Victor. Very good. Sit down. Next, Louise. Very good. Now, say it again, Jelson. Very good, everybody. Very good. The animals that have backbone are called vertebrates. The animals without backbone are called invertebrates. Okay, get one half crosswise and list five vertebrates animals and five invertebrates animals that can be found around you. Very good, children. You did a great job. Now, let's have a short quiz. You're going to classify the animals into vertebrates and invertebrates and write it in a proper column. For your assignment, you're going to cut or draw pictures of five vertebrates and five invertebrates animals. 